Getting to and from where you need to go isn't always an easy task for the rural dwellers of County Fermanagh. But every day vehicles from Fast based in Irvinstown and rural lift in Enniskillen weather what can sometimes be the rough terrain of Fermanagh's roads from Bow to Aderney and many places in between, making sure that people have access to essential local services such as post offices, shops and GP surgeries. With a new service launched this month called Dialalift, Fermanagh TV was given a first hand look at the work involved in such a project as well as the abundance of community spur. Well, if you even look at our statistics, we have 740 individual members. Um, we only have a population of 14,000 people. So 740 people out of 14,000 use our services on a regular basis. As well as that, we have our groups. We have 150 odd groups who use us. So that's a lot of people in a local community. Um, without our service, people wouldn't get out and about. People have got used to us now. Before this, they either didn't go anywhere or they relied on other people. Now they have their independence. They ring up, they make their booking. They say, I want to go into town tomorrow. Pick me up at 10, bring me home at 3. We go, we pick them up at 10, we bring them home at 3. They're sure of the service. They're, it's a safe service. Without the service, so many people would really struggle to one meet essential appointments and therefore, you know, their health, for example, could be at risk because they, they haven't got the means to get to the doctor. Um, if they're relying on taxi companies and other private operators, it may well be outside their economic circumstances. Um, and as we say, social isolation is important. People you know, can become depressed or isolated. Well, I think myself it's very important to uh, most of them. But a lot of them, elderly people live on their own and they have no other way of travelling, only if they're relying on us. They've got that used to us coming now to pick them up. They said only for it, uh, they wouldn't get out and about. Good morning, Rural Lift. Hello there, Rosie, how are you? Yeah, I know it's miserable this morning, isn't it? Um, yeah, when we... Well, at the end of the day, we are more than just drivers. We have a big responsibility with our passengers, uh, getting them to and from home safely and that and looking at making sure that we never go without them, helping them on and off with their shopping and that. So like I said, like you do build up a relationship with them. On the dial -a lift service, which operates Monday to Friday from 8 to 6, as long as somebody has booked for dial -a lift, they can use their smart pass once we have it verified. And people have been using it so far in the first seven days of the month. It's only come into introduction on the 1st of December. We've had almost 200 smart pass uses. Like in seven days, that, that tells you the level of people that are using our service. We've actually had a 20% increase in our membership since the scheme was announced in November. 60% of our membership actually are entitled to smart passes, so you know it is renewed vigour for the community transport sector and it is ensuring that you know the best possible way of delivering essential services for people is now out there in the transport arena. Everybody seems to be very content and happy with the way we do things. People's, people's lives depend on it. You know, other, if it wasn't for us, they wouldn't meet. They might not see somebody from one end of the week to the other. It's on the road for them. They ring up, book the bus for a Thursday. They're looking forward to it. So if we turn around and say there's no bus coming for you, I wouldn't like to be on the other end of the phone when you tell them. <laughs>